Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. <laughs> it's actually been a long time. The reason that it's been so long is if you watched my last uploaded video, I broke my camera and so I had to send it off. And so I was waiting for that to come back in the mail and then my birthday happened and then daylight savings happened on my birthday and now that it gets dark at like five o'clock I haven't really been motivated to do anything and speaking of my birthday I also got a new ring light so we are nice and lit I have done a little bit of shopping damage I think I got some pretty good stuff though most of my recent pickups have been makeup and skincare, but I do have a couple of other things that I'm going to show you guys as well. So the first couple items that I have are from the Sephora sale. I did not go crazy. The first thing that I got is this Bobbi Brown under eye corrector because my dark circles are crazy. I have it on today. Hopefully it's covering um because I look like I have two black eyes the next thing that I picked up is this buxom lip gloss set buxom lip glosses have always been my favorite since high school this is a glitter set and the glitter isn't like a chunky glitter in the gloss so you can't really feel it and the last thing that I got was this fresh skincare set the reason that I got this is because this deep hydration rose cream is my favorite moisturizer ever. I've just been too cheap to repurchase it, but then with the 20% off, it just made more sense for me to get this set than to just buy the face cream individually. So this also comes with a cleanser. I also needed a new cleanser, a face mask, and a toner. I originally went to TJ Maxx with something in mind that I was looking for, so I wasn't supposed to get off track like I did, but this is the Bosha Tsubaki Cleansing Oil Gel. Like I said a minute ago, I need a new cleanser, and these were only $10 each, and they are still at Ulta for $28, so they had two, so I bought both. I also picked up this foundation powder because I currently have no powders that are my skin tone and I also found this Laura Mercier candlelight sheer perfecting powder so it is a pressed powder that sets perfects and finishes leaving skin with a diffuse subtle luminous glow I've been buying packs of like natural lashes, but I just want something a little more dramatic right now. That's why I have on these camel lashes today. Yeah, so this was five pack of lashes for $6. So I found this micellar water from Evoluderm, and it was on clearance for $3. I also found these sponges, and then I also found this Makeup Revolution palette. I opened the packaging already. And this was on clearance for $5.50 and it's all fall tones. So I am ready to play in this. There doesn't really look like there's anything that's not a shimmer. Let's test them out. Let's go in with this one. to think that you had to buy the $50 eyeshadow palettes but that belief has flown out the window <laughs> because these are very pigmented I should swatch all of them but they probably all look just as good as this I also picked up these barrettes. I always wear my hair up and I just thought that I should jazz it up a little bit. The next thing that I got is pretty random but they are natural wool 
dryer balls and these were on clearance for four dollars and I think there's three balls in here and each ball can be used up to a thousand times apparently dryer sheets are really bad and have a lot of chemicals in them so I have been in the market for these I almost ordered these for thirty dollars like two weeks ago so I'm glad I did not do that so we are at the final item and this is a story so I have been in the market for black boots for a long time like three or four years I'm really picky when it comes to my boots and I haven't found any that I really like and trust me I've looked everywhere for boots online every store in the mall every store outside the mall I have not found boots but like three weeks ago before my birthday I found these they're really cute they have like a little pattern like on the back part where the zipper is and the front is just like plain black I found these boots three weeks ago for a hundred and fifty dollars and yes I never ever ever spend that much money on boots or shoes the maximum that I spend on any type of shoe is a hundred dollars so I found these boots I love them when I put them on they weren't like too wide on my calf because I have really skinny calves and you don't want this part to be too wide around your leg if you have a little twig in here it's gonna look crazy so I tried these on I love them it was near my birthday, so I was like, you know what, I should just splurge and spend the $150. So I have been feeling guilty about spending that much money on boots, so they have been sitting in my room, not touched. And today, I was finally going to wear the boots, but it was rainy outside and it was like 46 degrees, so I didn't wear them. But while we were at TJ Maxx doing all this damage, my brother noticed that these boots were now marked on clearance for $99 instead. And that is more reasonable to me for some boots since I have been looking for boots for four years and finally found a pair that I like. So I took the boots back that I bought with my original receipt and I went to the cashier and I was like hey I bought these boots for $150 they are on clearance right now so I was wondering if I could just exchange them basically like return it and then buy them back and she was like no we can't do that that's against our policy so you can either keep them at the price that you bought or return them but I'm not gonna put them back on the floor so that you can buy them in this size and I was like Ugh. and with that ultimatum like why would I keep the boots knowing that they are $50 off the price that I paid so I was like nope just return them then and she was like well if we have the boots that are already marked down in the back you can go back there and buy them tonight and I was like okay well I didn't check before so I don't even know but either way just return them and I'll figure it out so we returned them then I walked to the back and they had one pair left of nine boots so I bought them tonight but either way I was going to go back in the morning because I returned them at like 6 o'clock at night. So what was the odds that someone was actually going to be in there buying them? Not very likely, but I have literally never heard of that rule before where you can't exchange something when it went on sale when the boots still had the tags, I didn't wear them, and I had the receipt. So that's a new policy to me, but I do not work in retail anymore. But that was my lovely experience at TJ Maxx today. I haven't gone on a little shopping spree in a while, so I think this should hold me over <laughs> until 2020.
Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!